Hey guys, this is Lee here. Have you ever thought about changing your sail clips to sail ties? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over that and how to do it. Whether you choose to use a traditional sail clip, a zip tie, or sail ties, this video is for you. Now, tying sail ties can be a little tedious. Sometimes it helps to have a few friends to help you out. So if you like this content of this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. So I've been asked before to make a video about the infamous sail tie. I'm gonna try to do it uh, right here. I'm in uh, Lake Garda, Italy at the Circolo Vela, the 2022 Sunfish World Championships. Basically, most people here will be using these Spectra Dyneema sail ties. They're very thin. There's a many ways to do it. Um, generally speaking, I like to do a square knot with two half hitches on either side. Other people use surgeon knots and some people use some sort of fishing knot. I know John Butine, who is the class measure, he uses uh, something. The trick is for these things to be consistent where you want to be consistent. You don't want them to slip, especially when the, when the wind gets higher. I've uh, half butted it before and I had one sail tie come out blink 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 at a time when I was in Sarasota several years ago and uh, make sure they're tied correctly. Uh, what's nice about having these sail ties is you can customize the uh, the lengths from the spars if, if you're into something like that and uh, some people like to have what they call floating tacks or floating clues and so they can arguably go with the bend of the sail because the sail's not straight across. Some, um, so you could experiment and uh, have, uh, have some good times with this. Generally speaking, you don't want them to be too tight in one area because when you sail, you can see the sail will be kind of crinkled in that area. Use these sail ties if you want, or you could use sail clips. It really doesn't matter if you're going to be sailing around just for fun. You don't really care about how your sail exactly looks. If you want to use the sail ties, by all means, go ahead and uh, It'll make your boat faster if you do it right. Left over right, right all over left. So that's your first square knot. And then I put a half hitch here, which is basically a one loop. And here, like that. And then one loop here, and like that. Uh, I look at the gap here. This gap is a little bit higher, but this is in the, the tack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rough tie these all the way down. Got a whole bunch of them. One, the 16, and the 17, okay. So after I tie this, I kind of like check it out and see. Um, I like it kind of close to the spar when I first initially tie this because what happens after you start to sail this will loosen up and then it'll start to gap because these will give you some stretch and then they don't stretch out much but they will stretch so eventually it'll get that big and then this is actually probably too loose that's about a quarter of an inch or about seven millimeters so I'll, I'll actually have to tie this tighter so here's a rough tying of the sail. It's not, oh, I missed one. This is not gonna be perfect. But that's okay. I'm gonna sail with it and then I'm gonna put my out hole here and I'm gonna put the, uh, the sail tie here also. So there we got the sail ties on this Lake Garda Italy boat. I still gotta put the the top one on and the head. So that's what it roughly looks like. Sail ties. When I go sailing first later on today, these are going to loosen up a little bit. I'm gonna put my out hole here. Right now, if there was an outfall, it would be very loose. So there you have it. There's a video. I hope you liked that. If you liked this video, check out this one right here. And I'll see you on the water.